What's up YouTube, it's Detroit John back with another episode of John Talks. Before we get into it, if you would consider subscribing, it makes a big impact on my channel. I'm at 228, trying to get to 1000, and again, I would just really appreciate if you would consider hitting that subscribe button. The Lions are headed in a new and exciting direction. With the hire of GM Brad Holmes and head coach Dan Campbell, the future has never looked brighter. But if they really want to kick off a new era in Detroit, they're going to have to consider who's under center. This means do we trade Stafford, do we draft a quarterback, or do we take Deshaun Watson? One of the biggest questions for the Detroit Lions this offseason is veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford. Now he's headed into his 13th season, and we all just have to be honest, he has regressed. I'm not saying that he can't be that 45, 40 touchdown guy with 4,000 to 5,000 yards again. He may still have it in him. I just think it's time to turn the chapter here in Detroit. That's where I think a guy like Deshaun Watson could come in. Now, Deshaun Watson, out of all the options we have, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, he is the best. He is the best, and it's not close. It's hands down. Now, there's problems. Houston has reported that they want multiple, you heard me, multiple first-round picks for Deshaun Watson, which, I mean, is reasonable. This guy led the NFL with 4,800 yards passing last season. He was the leader. So I think it's been established that Houston is going to get what they're asking for. They're going to get these multiple first round picks and the Lions should be in this conversation. We have the resources in our toolbox to be in this conversation. And as Dan Orlowski said, if you're not the Chiefs, if you're not the Bills, the Bucks, if you're not one of these teams that already has a quarterback, you need to be picking up the phone, especially a team like the Detroit Lions that is in a need of a mobile running quarterback. We are in such a need of a productive uh, quarterback that can pass the ball. Now this whole situation has begun to ripple throughout the media in Detroit and just the Detroit Lions community. We had columnist Bob Wojnarowski offer this trade scenario that he thinks the Lions could give. Matthew Stafford, our seventh pick, and our first rounder and second rounder next year. Now this is a hefty price and a lot of people had a lot of backlash to this and said it was too much. You're giving this guy two first round picks and Matthew Stafford and a second rounder for Deshaun Watson. So personally guys, that's way too much for me. I think if we cut it to Matthew Stafford, the seventh pick, and maybe that second rounder, I think we can do that. But that extra first round pick is just too much for one player because now you're saying Matthew Stafford is worth a, uh, worth a first round pick and we're giving you the seventh overall pick, guaranteed is seven. That's just huge value right there. And our next year first and the second, way too much, Bob. But guess what? You did get something right, that they need to at least explore it, that they need to at least put some picks on the line. Maybe not that much, but I think, honestly, I would be willing to give the seventh overall pick in Stafford. That's two first rounders right there. I would be give, willing to give that. Um, I think, you know, they could trade up with that. They could trade up with that, guys. They may be able to trade with a team like the Jets. They may be able to trade up with the team. I don't know. But something has got to happen. And I think Brad Holmes and I think Dan Campbell are just the guys to do it. I think getting those clowns, uh, Bob Quinn out of here and Matt Patricia, they were stinking this place up, guys. They were holding up growth. Now we can finally grow. And this is the moment we got to get a quarterback. I think, honestly, I said, you know, get Jamar Chase if we keep Matthew Stafford or get, you know, Devontae Smith. Guys, we cannot keep Matthew. Yes, you, you got to build around Matthew if you keep him, but we cannot keep this guy. He's got to go. So I want to see Deshaun. I want to see guys like that. And then you can bring in free agents. And we're worried about everything, you know, after that. But we got to bring in another quarterback. So I do want to put this kind of cursor on there that he does have a no trade clause, meaning he basically gets to decide where he goes. Um, but I think, honestly, Detroit, when you're considering they want him to go to the Jets or they're talking about the Bears, these options are not necessarily better than Detroit, guys. And if you look at Kenny Galladay, you look at Hawkinson, you look at the weapons that we have on the offensive uh, line and, and, and how good, you know, Decker could be and how good Ragnar was, you know, it's not a bad place to be, guys. It's really not. And he's going to have the keys. And honestly, he's already proven that what he can do when he gets weapons around him. So I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about us, you know, trying to do whatever we can do to really, you know, really show him that we want him. And then... Through that, I feel like a guy like him would love a city like this, man, where you have great fans and the team is actually on the up and you hired a new GM and you hired a new coach. There's great things to look at, guys. You look at the Jets, you look at the Bears, their coaching, their management system is really shitty. Now, the Lions is too, but theirs is not far behind and their rosters suck. So, you know, you, you kind of do have 
a, a lot to work with if you're the Lions as far as resources and just as far as argument, man, to get this kid. You have the money. You have everything you need. There is no problem. It's just as far as if he makes the decision, because we need to already in our minds have made the decision. He just needs to make the decision. Tell me what you guys think.